In this video series, I'm going to be talking about ozone. What is ozone? How does it work? What are the medical uses and all that? And it's going to be broken down into multiple videos. I'm Dr. Philip Oob. I'm a functional medicine doctor. We're going to be talking about ozone. So first question is, what is ozone? The first answer is, it's naturally occurring. It's something that happens already in our environment. As lightning strikes around in the clouds or in the air, it, it separates the oxygen molecule into uh, O2, as most people know, the oxygen molecule is O2, and it splits the oxygen into two separate oxygen molecules, and then those molecules attach to other O2s, making O3. Now you have ozone. So ozone is a naturally occurring substance that's created after lightning. It's actually a topical disinfectant. It kills nearly anything that it touches, even better than bleach. What are some of the industrial uses of ozone? You've, you've, whether you know it or not, it's being used all the time. It's frequently used in any kind of air treatment like odor removal or pesticide removal. Uh, it's used in wastewater treatment plants because, like I said, it's a disinfectant that kills nearly anything. So as far as wastewater, parasites, um, bacteria, anything in the water, it will kill. It's used in drinking water purification, kind of the same thing. It's used in food storage, swimming pools, naturally as a disinfectant, and also even with, uh, washing machines. Now this is more on the industrial side of things. This is not something that you're going to see used in your own home environment, but whether you know it or not, it's happening in the environment. What does the FDA think about ozone as far as the, the medical version of ozone? Since the, the ozone has been used since the 1900s, and um, it, it was kind of suppressed as pharmaceuticals were developed because it wasn't as needed, and pharmaceutical industry spent a ton of money on marketing to get into the medical schools and things. And as of today, the FDA still states that ozone is a toxic gas with no known medical uses. However, there are 1,700 studies in the last 20 years and growing more and more. So I, I, although the FDA is not really on board with ozone, the benefits and, and therapies are actually well researched. If you don't believe me, just Google ozone, IV ozone, and ozone insufflation um, and get looking. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about the medical uses of ozone.